Hey, good morning, good morning. It is Saturday, November 3rd, and I want to give you just a little bit of a primer on why we're trading NASDAQ and crude so much. It's because the markets move more, the ranges are better. But why is that? Why doesn't the um, ES or the E-mini S&P 500 move as much? Well, the E-mini is an auction market. Um, that is controlled by specialists on the New York Stock Exchange. And their job is to coordinate their high volume buys with their high volume sales. And essentially, they're not moving prices around so much. Uh, when there's an imbalance day or a trend day, one or two days a month, then it will trend. But ordinarily, it's an auction market. However, the NASDAQ markets are dealer-driven markets, and this allows multiple dealers to compete against each other, and so there are tighter spreads and more efficiency. So rather having one specialist having knowledge of the current market demand, um, as far as the NASDAQ con is concerned, um, there, there isn't. They're competing against each other. So um, if someone, however, knew the order flow, this all-knowing individual most likely would exploit that information for themselves, and that knowledge would pretty much amount to knowing the internal orders of all the major brokerage houses on Wall Street, as well as all the other market participants, and that would pretty much give them a license to just mint money. So what we have in the NASDAQ is a dealer-driven competitive market, and no one really knows where price is going. So it makes it very interesting to trade, to say the least, because it can just explode, and once it explodes, it usually goes in that direction and it goes for a controlled distance and like bumper pool it will go so far and then pull back and these distances these bumper pool distances are measurable across various time frames the same distances so I have created a volatility indicator uh, that measures these distances and offsets from the mean or the mode of the center of the order flow to give me that bumper pool, you know, capacity and thereby fill in the blank. I'm not saying I'm going to be giving myself a license to print money, but pretty much I'm going to give myself a license to print money. Pretty much. So this indicator is available on NinjaTrader 8. And it does not require Bloodhound. You can get access to these plots, code it yourself in C plus or using the NinjaTrader um, market wizard or strategy wizard or you can use Bloodhound um, is, and it's so simple. So you can set your offsets however you want them. I have them set up for two, four, above and below. And um, so you can take it just a profit when it hits the line, the second one up right or on one same thing with below take your profit when it hits the line and there's various ways to set this up you can get reversals when a candle reverses on the level However, your your specification, say a wick must be below it, but the open and close must be above it. However you want that specification to be, you can, you know, use these lines and get as pretty specific as you want. And it's very easy to code 
uh, using this indicator. Um, in fact, if you knew what you were doing and knew like this indicator shows you the mode or the mean, so if it crosses above and hits your first level, you might want to place a trade to that second level and use the mode or the mean, just tuck a stop underneath it, say five ticks, as your stop and then use that for your second profit target. And how that would look on your smaller time frame getting up there. I have another chart set up on my three minute time frame just to show you this is um, the same indicator but with a bloodhound coded um, strategy that I've created for this indicator. And here are those trades, what it would look like um, getting you to that second level profit target. So this is what you would be trading so you could come in here and take an entry on one of these pullbacks on the smaller time frame after your little reversal to get in and then trade it up to that profit target on your 15 minute. So when you're trading a three minute, 15 minute chart, as we will be doing in the trade room, this is pretty much what we're going to be doing. We'll be looking for our entries on our three minute chart and taking the exits <clears throat> or the, um, you know, as they hit that band, not on the bar close, but as a live trade, as it hits that line, we can take our exit. You can also set this up though, to take the entry on that line. So say like you could set this up for a, um, an eight or a six and on those uh, outliers. And then take um, the trades when they start coming underneath here. And I change this band. It's very easy to, um, and we'll go in to this. Um, very simple setting this up. But you can change in here how you want those solvers to be and then just choose your level and it's just super simple very codable and bloodhound and um, take take your exit if, if that's the exit that you wanted so there's many ways to take your entries and exits um, like I said uh, one touch out um, or you could use that one touch to get you in you know if you're trading short that would be your entry and that way you would have a minimized risk coming back the downside so there's your 30 tick risk so there's 30 60 90 <laughs> you know just keep counting them up um, that was a five to one trade there um, but that's what we're going to be doing in the trade room next week is using the um, multiple time frames on this. And the 60 minute is very good too to, to um, use this on a 60 minute chart, especially if you're going to be using um, the RTH session. Let me change the data series for you. And you can tell, for instance, that we have entered a bottom on the NQ. The um, cloud is now going up and um, we are supposed to be buying these bottom deviations if it gets down there to send it back up and selling these top ones to go back to the mean 
So as this comes up, we'll be selling that to hit the band and then go keep going up, up, up. So um, of course it can change directions and go up and down, but generally um, you wanna go with the uh, direction that the cloud is going in for that leg or cycle. And when it matches the daily, of course, that's even better. Um, you know, if we can stay with the daily cloud. So the daily cloud is definitely down, make no mistake. So, but I would be waiting to go short really until that 60 minute cloud got red again. Otherwise you're gonna be um, probably hurting yourself if you try to get short when everybody else is gonna be buying these bottoms short term, you know, until it turns back around. So we're, all this means is it's building a flag, right? So use this like bumper pool and start understanding how we can use these bands, put up a 15 minute chart and see that it turns on level three. And so that you can take your profits up here, that's level, sorry, level four. Hmm. Oh, okay, I changed the level three. So you have to be careful and and not change your coding on these. Um, make sure your coding um, matches. There it is. And that is in again, if you change your indicator number, it won't match. Um, so you have to be sure and match. The offset that you want to give you the result that you want on the chart that you want. But yes, there it is. I mean, every single time that's what you want. That's what you want to be able to hit. And, and that way you can take the larger trades up into that level and start expanding on those single lots and double lot trades. All right, so that's what we will be doing. We'll show you how to get it coded in Bloodhound and in uh, NinjaTrader, uh, C plus or the um, wizard. And we'll start using these wonderful volatility indicator tools and um, work out our entries and exits. And again, if you just follow the cloud, the way, you know, the way you can tell on the chart, it usually works out pretty darn good because it'll get you positioned the direction that you want to be trading uh, based on this linear regression trend. All right. Y'all have a great weekend. Come see us in the trade room and come go by the website. Uh, the indicator is available for Ninja Trader 8. And if you don't want the Bloodhound package, just pick up the indicator by itself. Otherwise, get the complete package and you get the templates and everything else with it with Bloodhound. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good weekend.